We're on the southern outskirts of Gaza now and we've come across this building. Neighbours say it was bombed and shelled by the Israeli military on the second day of the ground incursion. All morning long, they've been pulling out bodies. All that's left of this building now is twisted steel and rubble. Bulldozers are ploughing in. And along with the bulldozers, these people have been pulling at the rubble with their bare hands, trying to find loved ones and neighbours they believe were trapped under the wreckage. According to the neighbours, this attack took place on the second day of the Israeli ground incursion into Gaza. They say the building was bombed and shelled. This man just sits and watches the operation. He says he's lost all his sisters in that building. According to what he's told us, he said 57 people were rounded up by the Israeli military and told to stay inside. The following day, he says, he tried to phone his sisters but he said he had no reply. Even getting enough ambulances to ferry away the dead on the first day of the ceasefire has been difficult. These two bodies are lying out in the open sun, waiting for collection. And this man crouches and says a silent prayer and a last 